Wherever you travel, you will never find a place which combines natural beauty, ancient monuments, hospitality, and enjoyment like the island of Rhodes. According to Greek mythology, Helios, the god of the sun, chose Rhodes as his island. And since then, he has showered the island in his golden sunshine. Simultaneously cosmopolitan and sophisticated, the island is full of color and contrast. The town of Rhodes, or Mandraki, was considered the original location of the Colossus one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The gates of the stone walls, which separate the old and the new town, function like a time machine, taking you instantly back in time. Walk through the medieval city in the footsteps of the Grand Masters. The City of the Knights is a unique living monument to the history of Rhodes. The Temple of Apollon rests on the hills of Monte Smith. As we leave the city towards the southeast, we reach Koskinu, a village known for its traditional settlements, characterized by the vivid colored doorways and mosaic floors. Built during the Italian occupation, the Bay of Calithea is known for its picturesque spa and its crystal clear blue water. The coast road takes us to Falaraki, where our environment changes. It's noted for some of the best beaches in Greece and the biggest water park in Europe. Here we see Anthony Quinn, one of the island's most charming closed bays. Next is the endless stretch of beach in a fondue. Seven Springs. The largest village in Rhodes is Archangelos. With its hilltop castle, its nearby beach of Sambica, and its famous remote monastery. Stegna. Paraiki combines lush green landscapes and the Emerald Sea. Fifty kilometers south of Rhodestown, 
is Lindos. Built from local stone. The town is stepped higher and higher until you reach the Acropolis, which is the temple of the goddess Athena. By day, Lindos is famous for its sandy beach and its rock-lined bay. Here we see the rocky cliffs and beach of St. Paul's Bay, where the Apostle St. Paul was shipwrecked on his way to preach Christianity to the Rhodians. On the west side of the island is Ialisos on Filernos Hill. The Butterfly Valley is a unique and beautiful spot, 25 kilometers south of Rhodes City. It is rich in natural springs and waterfalls. During August, thousands of butterflies overwhelm the valley in order to reproduce. Soroni. Panes is a local fishing port. Finally, we reach Camiros, which is renowned for the quality of its ancient ruins. Founded by the Dorians, Camiros was a rural society whose main products were olive oil, figs, and wine. The Castle of Critinia. the castle of Monolithos, the monastery of the prophet Elias, the Orthodox Church of Fudukli, Eleusa Fountain, Yanavi is noted for its seaside tavernas. Lahanya and Katavya are our last stop before we reach the southernmost part of the island. Brasonisi is a paradise for windsurfers. <laughs>